All right, I think we are up and going. Let's wait for some people. All right, I'm gonna leave it here for just a minute while I get things finished and settled, and then we'll get started. All right, cool. I think we're going. I see some people coming in. Hello. All right. I think we're gonna be good. Let me know if you guys are seeing this. Oh, hello. Tabitha, what a cute name. I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna just wait on some more people to come in. Hello, people. All right. Figured I'd hop on a little early, just in case, to get people, get the notifications out. And if you hear little tippy tappies or see my dog, um, I'm home alone right now, and so I am watching my puppy by myself. So if I get up at any point, that probably means I heard him doing something, just so you guys know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a little bit longer and then we'll jump on in. So today we're gonna be doing an ombre. So apparently a lot of you guys wanted to see how to ombre. I think the final poll was um, fine to chunky, but when I was preparing yesterday, it was fine to fine. So I don't actually have a chunky planned out, but I do have a fine to fine, which is what we're going to do first. Cause that was the first winning. And then if we have time, I might do a second video or something and do a fine to medium because I do have an order for a fine to medium too. So yeah. So I figured why not walk, knock out two? So, right now I'm just going to put down my paper, let it go. My dad named me after Tabitha Bewitched. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> my parents picked my name because that's the only one they agreed on. <laughs> so, yay me. All right, so we got a good few people in here. I'm going to go ahead and just get started because the first step is to just mix epoxy. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to be applying my glitter through the epoxy method because I find that I get the best blend using the epoxy method. I have a very much a love-hate relationship with the epoxy method. I feel like it gives me so much trouble sometimes and I do like Mod Podge a lot of times, but I feel like when you're ombre you get the best blend through the epoxy method. Now that it is personal preference, I've seen so many people who say they prefer spray adhesive, Mod Podge, who knows what else people are using, but I personally have the best results for me using the epoxy method. So I'm just gonna measure out part A and part B, and if you guys saw my last video, you guys know I'm using Promarine. So this is just my little FIFO bottle of Promarine. Um, it's working well for me, so. Hi, Ruth. I'm excited for the new website. If you guys haven't heard or seen, fairytaleglitter.com is going through a renovation and should be going up hopefully today. Hello, people. All right. Just measuring out my part A. I don't know if it's out of frame or not, but I have to have it up at eye level so I can make sure I get to my lines properly. So, but I'm measuring out 15 milliliters of part A and 15 milliliters of part B. Now, some of you are probably thinking that's way too much for the epoxy method. I know, I know. Um, I will not be using all of this. I will probably just have it sit up here. And I did bring my little sample container. If you guys have not ordered from Fairy Tale Glitter, 
you do get samples and they come in little baggies like this. And so I have quite the collection that I've put into these little shakers of samples. So I like to make molds out of them so that way I can see what they look like under epoxy. So if I notice my epoxy is hardening, I will go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna just mix up my epoxy. So we're just starting nice and simple. Just mixing up the epoxy. And yes, I did use the bottom of another cup to make my stand to make it eye level. I don't see my puppy, so I might have to go find him. He's being suspiciously quiet. <laughs> so we'll see. So if you hear me yelling Gunner at any point, that's because I'm yelling at him to see what he's doing. But yeah, I'm just gonna mix up my epoxy. So, and since this is the bottom layer, since it's gonna be covered in glitter, you don't have to worry about heat bubbles at all. Um, if you want to go nice and slow, you can. I don't really care because, like I said, you're going to put it on and then cover it in glitter. So it doesn't matter if it is bubbly. So I'm just mixing up some epoxy. So, and for the first one, I didn't even say what we're doing. So we're going to do find a fine first. And so I have Snow White here, which is a white glitter. Um, super pretty. This is like my go-to white currently. Um... But yeah, it's just a really pretty white. And then I'm going to be using Once Upon a Cowboy, which is another fine glitter. And so that way we're going to blend those two. What kind of puppy? He's a German Shepherd mix. Um, I'm sure you'll probably see him pop up right here at some point. Um, he's very nosy. So he's probably chewing something that he's not supposed to. He's only eight months old, so he, he kind of does what he wants. All right, so we're just mixing up epoxy. Do do do. So, yeah. He's a sweet boy. He's the sweetest thing you've ever met, but he does like getting into trouble. His favorite things to chew on are uh, paper products. So, paper towels, paper in general, books, <laughs> magazines, napkins, um, paper covered in glitter. Parchment paper is his absolute favorite. So, I have to make sure I lock all that up because I use it for crafting sometimes. All right, so my epoxy looks just about good. I'm gonna let it kind of settle for a minute. I'm gonna go check on the puppy. Hi, Allie, hi, Kristen. Gonna just check on the puppy. Are you being good? He's just begging at the kitchen. <laughs> His food's not even in the kitchen. He has a full bowl of food. <laughs> but he's like, but there's cheese in the refrigerator. <laughs> he loves cheese, and I pulled some out for him earlier, but then he decided to play in mud, so I decided to not give him the cheese. <laughs> it's been raining here in Central Texas, and there's my backyard has a couple muddy spots, like a couple dirt spots, um, and he decided to play in them today. So there's just little puppy tracks all over my floor, but I had to get ready for the live, so I didn't have time to clean them yet. So we'll get to those later. But we're going to go ahead and just turn on the cup. So it's going to start turning. My dog loves paper too. I don't know. I don't get it. He loves paper and water bottles were his thing when he was younger. He loves crinkly, crinkly water bottles, which we don't keep a lot in the house. We only have them like if we have like a Gatorade or a Powerade. Whoops. Sorry about that vibrate. I meant to turn my phone off. So it wouldn't do that. Let's see. There we go. Should be no more vibrating. Sorry, y'all. Um, love my laugh. Oh, gosh. I find it so annoying. <laughs> um, you can't watch right now. I hope I could watch tonight. Well, these videos will be saved and posted in an album, I believe. Ruth saves them and does that for us. So that way we can find all of these tutorials from me and everyone. All right. I'm going to just take a thin layer and apply it. I use a gloved finger. I don't use a brush. I don't use anything I just use my finger because I like that you can feel the cup and you all might notice this is not the best spray paint job I was testing out a new spray paint that was cheap did not have high hopes um, and I shouldn't have so and I used a pattern tumbler too so that's fun but this is just kind of for the sake of the tutorial if it doesn't look good I can always strip it later or cover it up do something um, so I just applied a bunch of epoxy at the top and 
Now I'm just gonna kind of make sure everything is covered. You want it to cover everything. You don't want any like bald spots for lack of a better term. <laughs> the other thing yours loves is underwear. My gunner, he loves socks. Um, not mine. He will never mess with mine. Um, but he loves my husband's socks. Um, it, my husband's in the army. And so he comes home after a long day and takes off his boot socks. And uh, <laughs> Gunner loves those. He'll take them and run to his little pen and try to hide. So he can just, he doesn't even chew on them. He just, he just wants them. But he's a weirdo. <laughs> but yeah, just applying the epoxy. Nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah, no, I'm glad he doesn't like underwear. That would be weird. My husband leaves stuff everywhere. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> All right. So the top has a really thin layer. You do want a very thin layer. Some people will say for the epoxy method, you can measure two and a half milliliters of each. Um, but... I, like I said, I just measure more than I need just because I'd rather have too much than not enough and can just use it for molds or if it's still good when I get to the next cup, et cetera, et cetera. So right now I'm just kind of pulling down all of the epoxy to make sure everything is covered. And let's hope this turner doesn't give us any problems today. Uh... Because if you guys saw the last live, it was not wanting to cooperate. I've used it a couple times since then, though, and it's worked absolutely fine. So, we'll hope. It just wants me to look crazy. We have a sock eater here, too. Mystique, our Jack Russell rescue. Aww. So cute. Yeah, I've always had real big dogs, so Gunner blends in perfectly to what I expected. <laughs> I've had a black lab and a great Pyrenees, and my mom currently has our Australian Shepherd. So we've had decently large dogs my whole life. I find them in the backyard chewed up. Yeah, we find all kinds of stuff in the uh, backyard. He's better about it now. Uh, he's very spoiled, and so he has the back door open at all times. Um, we don't ever really close the back of your door, except for like right now where it's raining outside. Well, it was raining outside and it's muddy. Um, or of course if we're gone. But um, during the day when I'm home, because I do cups for a living, so I, I'm at home like all day. Um, I leave the back door open. We have one of those cool screens and he just runs in and out. So if I'm not paying attention, he used to grab anything he could find and just run outside the funniest thing he grabbed was he grabbed a towel and flipped it over his back, literally like a cape, and started running around. I have an Akita. Ooh, Akitas are so cute. They're so cute. All right. So the cup is epoxied with a very, very thin layer. As you can see, I still have so much epoxy left, which is fine. We'll use it um, or something. We'll do something with it. I'm going to put my glove out of the way. Um, so for ombre, I'm no professional. Um, I just kind of do what I think works for me. But I know a lot of people say start with the light. But honestly, I just kind of work down the cup, which I usually do light to dark. Unless it's a specific request to do it the other way around. But um, yeah, so I'm going to take Snow White. So this is Snow White, just my pretty, pretty white. And I'm just going to kind of go from the top of the cup. So about half an inch to an inch above this line, and then we'll do the blue part way up, and then we'll worry about the blend. So that's just kind of how I do mine, because I don't want to, uh, just jump right into it. I just kind of apply and see what happens. There's so many different methods for applying. So right now I'm just, I'm just tapping on the glitter. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not... I'm just tapping on the glitter. I think for this cup, this one's actually not for an order or anything. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen those. I, I'm gonna, but I'm going to swear this once. Um, if you guys have seen those salty bitch tumblers, like the salt girl, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, 
I'm, I want to make one of those. And so I had no excuse to, like I didn't, I don't make cups for myself very often. Um, so when you guys said you wanted to find a fine, I was like, oh, okay. So that's kind of my excuse. So I went down a little further than I said. It's definitely about half an inch to a quarter of an inch. But yeah, definitely. Paper, yeah. Your says she's only three months or eight months old. And she's already huge and fluffy. Oh. Gunner's pretty fluffy, but he's not he's not super fluffy. My I had an Aussie who has long hair and I had a great Pyrenees. So you can imagine I love the fluff. <laughs> Oh, yes, I do have paper down. I do have uh, just copy paper. I don't have any anything else down. Just copy paper. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, though, because I have done that before. I have started to apply glitter, and I was like, oh, no. Yes, no, I try to save as much glitter as I can. Um, I'm just going to move this to the side for now because I don't feel like dumping it just quite this second. So we're just gonna move it because why not? <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna take this blue, which is a Once Upon a Cowboy. You want an Aussie or a Corgi? Oh, Corgis are so cute. My husband wants one so bad. Uh, he said, I'm making one this week. Oh, the salty, uh, salty bee tumbler, I guess I'll say, to make it friendly. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I've seen them, and they're just super cute, and so I uh, I wanted to make one, but I ha I don't, like I said, I don't make cups for myself very often, um, and I don't really have my Etsy, well, I have my Etsy up and going, but I don't post on it as actively as I should, and so whenever I make cups, I love to only make cups when I have somewhere for it to go, if that makes sense. Um, so now I'm doing these tutorials, so I'm like, oh, this is a great excuse to make one. <laughs> uh, so now I'm going to make one. I'll probably, if I don't end up keeping it for myself, I'll probably list it on my Etsy. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted an excuse to make one. So I would, so this is just Once Upon a Cowboy. Hello, Julie. Your husband tells you no small dogs. Mine's typically against small dogs, but he just wants a corgi. I don't know. He's talked about, he's like, yeah, I want a Great Dane, and I want a Lab, and all these other dogs. And then he's like, and a corgi. And I'm like, what? All right. So you can see there's kind of a patch here in the middle where there's just nothing. It's just white spray paint. I don't know if it's hard to see, but it's right here. So now we're going to... Go ahead and add a little more white. So we're going to move our glitter out of the way. And the reason I like doing epoxy method for ombres is because you have more time to... I almost said the F word. More time to mess around with it. Sorry. Uh, you have more time to mess around with it. And so that way, if you are having... If you're taking your time kind of like I am right now and you're just kind of moving things around and not rushing and want to make sure it looks perfect, you have a little more time. We're going to just put the paper full of glitter on top of my laptop. That's a fabulous idea. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. I got distracted. Um, next, we're going to go in, back in with the white, and I'm just going to kind of apply it. I'm going to try to make sure it doesn't go onto the curve. So if you're using a 30-ounce tumbler like I am, it's going to drip down a little, the glitter is, and that's gonna help your ombre a little bit. Um, you guys specifically requested like a darker shade because of the reason obviously it's darker, so blending a white to dark um, is a little harder because white can only cover so much. So as you can see, there's some white glitter attaching to the blue, and that's perfectly fine, but that's a harsh line, um, and you, you don't quite want that. Um, I understand cussing. I have a Marine as a husband, so it spreads. It's so true. I did Air Force ROTC for four years, and then I married an Army, a soldier. So, yeah, I have a terrible mouth, but I try to keep it good. I mean, I managed to work for Disney for four years, so, I mean, i got to be doing something right. All right, and I did get a little blue that fell off into this, so this white's now just going to go into my dump cup because I don't want to mix blue into my pure white shaker 
So we're gonna just leave him right there. Um, so, well, no, we're not, we're gonna move him. Y'all are seeing the true scatterbrained Morgan come out. All right, so I'm putting my blue paper back down. Um, you said, what white is that? I need to get white and that blue. So this white is Snow White. Um, I know it was out of stock recently. Uh, Ruth or Ashley would be able to answer that for you if it's coming back into stock when the new when the new site's up. And then the blue is Once Upon a Cowboy. So pretty. I wanted this shade for a while, and I finally convinced myself to buy it. So, all right. So what you're going to do, what I like to do, is let's see if I can turn y'all a little. So I'm going to try to scooch y'all up so you can see the tumbler and what I'm doing. But yes, we have Snow White and Once Upon a Cowboy on this cup. Um, so I kind of scooched y'all up to see if you can see. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Emily, I know this is all the Snow White I have, which it, granted is a lot. I think it's four or five ounces, but I use it so much. Um, I'm about to use it on the two slash three tumblers today alone. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is with my Once Upon a Cowboy, um, I, since I have a big hole, I like to shake from a distance. So I don't know if you guys can see how high this is. If you can see, um, I would say I'm about a half a foot up. Um, I take my shaker up real high where I start low to make sure I'm in the right section. I don't want to be sprinkling blue up here on accident because I'm as blind as a bat and that probably would happen. And you're going to just ever so lightly tap. So, so lightly. You see there's such little glitter falling. And right now I'm kind of focusing on where that white hit the blue. And you can see it's just going up a little. Because you're doing it from a distance, the glitter is not falling so direct. It's kind of falling like, like snow would. Um, so it's allowing a bit of a... Um, it's just more subtle, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Emily, your power is back on. That's good. You and Stella can finally cook some dinner. All right. So I'm just going to shake it from a distance. And I'm just going to gently move up as I work higher into the white. Just like that. Um... Yeah, this is just kind of how I do it. Uh, it's not perfect because obviously there are times where I get too much, too little, too whatever. But this is kind of how I do mine. So like that was kind of a lot. But it's fixable, hopefully. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did the same big, big blob right in the same spot. Um, and since it is... Just kind of on there you can kind of brush a little of it off a little bit will come off so the thing about an ombre is it's never perfect do not get your hopes up that it's going to be perfect because it's not um it, it will never be perfect um it, it's always gonna have something wrong with it do you know what i mean um like my ombres are never perfect I think my computer froze. But uh, ombres are, it's really like no matter how good you are, it's always going to be, I don't want to say questionable, it's always going to be perfectly imperfect. As, like, as hard as you try, don't drive yourself crazy over an ombre because it's, it might not ever turn out how you want, no matter how good or how much time or anything. Does that make sense? Like it just, it might not ever be perfect or quote unquote perfect. So. All right. So I'm just going to kind of look at that, see what I think. All right. I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, I took the blue up a little higher than I want. So what I'm going to do is take my white, and I'm just going to kind of go back in and add a little bit. Um, the And especially 
it's not going to be perfect, especially going from a white or a really light color into a dark color. It's not going to be perfect. Like you, you'll, you'll give yourself an ulcer trying to make it perfect. And I'm just gonna try to do the bottom real quick. And I'm just gonna kind of throw on the glitter. I usually prep my butts, but once again, forgot. But yeah, it's it's never gonna be perfect. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Mike and Sully cup that I did recently for a friend. Um, that was a pretty good ombre in my in my personal opinion, uh, the green to blue, because one they're similar colors. And two, they were both medium to light shades. I had Smurf and Poison Apple. So if you guys don't know, that's a like a lime green, like a really light, limey electric green. And Smurf is a really light Smurf blue. So those colors definitely blended a lot better than a white to a dark, dark color. There we go. I hate doing the butts like this. Does anyone else do butt prep? All right, but yeah, there's that. So we're gonna, we probably should actually dump this blue back into its container before I spill it everywhere and waste so much glitter. But yeah, that's kind of the general concept of my glitter. It's super hard to get that perfect blend. I'm obviously gonna keep going um, and see and if I can get it closer to what I like, but once again, don't stress it too much, y'all. Alright. So, of course, not wasting any glitter. Alright, and using the paper, I mean, you do get most of it off, which is great, so you're not wasting any glitter. I just heard Gunner yawn. <laughs> He's probably tired of me. Um, he hasn't taken his afternoon nap yet, so that's probably what he's doing. All right, so we're gonna put our white paper back down and go in with a little more uh, white to so just kind of blend that line a little bit. So I'm kind of focusing on the top part of that blue ombre to see if I can kind of mellow out some of that blue. I need both colors. They look beautiful. I know. I This blue is super beautiful. Um, I did it when I made this cup back here, this flag cup. Um, I did not have this and I wish I had because it would have made this cup 100 times better. Um, so let's see. I think that looks a little better adding in that white just kind of helped blend it better. You just don't want any harsh chunks. Hello, Norma. So, uh, I don't think it's too bad. But yeah, so that is kind of the idea of a fine to fine. Um, like I said, with a white to a dark color or vice versa, I guess. Hello. Um, it's going to be really hard to blend it just because they are two stark different colors, like white and black, you know? So try not to stress yourself out. That's my biggest tip. Um, but when it comes to actually applying it, take your shaker and move it up about half a foot to a foot away from your tumbler and kind of shake it in this region so that way it'll spread up and then move your hand as needed. I've only accomplished one ombre and it was light and dark purple. Oh, that must have been really pretty. Um... My, my, my quote unquote best ombre was 
uh, my one of my recent ones, and it was poison apple to Smurf. All right, and I got a little bit of blue in my weight, so I'm just kind of flicking it out onto my dump cup sheet. All right, perfect. Um, and do you guys know what a dump cup is, by the way? I know I've mentioned it, but not everyone knows because I've seen it just recently mentioned on some Tumblr pages that they were like, have you heard of this? So let me know if you guys don't know what that is and I can kind of explain it or run and grab mine. But a dump cup is more or less like when you mix your colors or just kind of like leftover colors you put it into an empty container. So that way you have, you don't waste it, waste it. Sometimes it looks really pretty, sometimes it does not. If it's not a salty fish tumbler, it could be a cowboy cup. Like the like Dallas Cowboys? I'm not a sports person if you can't tell. <laughs> Yeah, extra mixed glitter. Exactly. That's a good way to put it. It's like the extra, like, you see all this glitter down here? That's kind of what a dump cup would be for is all of this glitter that got mixed. So there's blue. There's mother of pearl. There's actually some treasure island. There's different size glitters. There's different leftovers. So that is kind of what the dump cup is. But, yeah, I, I'm actually kind of happy with this one. Um, so I'm going to let it turn. I'm gonna put on a little more blue at the bottom. Yes, Dallas Cowboys, I thought so. I should make my my dad a Dallas Cowboys tumbler because he is so against the Dallas Cowboys. Don't know why, but he, he does not like them. And now I live in Central Texas, so you can imagine. <laughs> There's lots of Cowboys stuff everywhere. All right, and I'm just kind of touching up the blue down here because I noticed that uh, I had a little too much epoxy, and so, there was some wet looking spots, if you guys notice that. Um, there's some spots that look a little more wet. I'm not going up to the ombre part, I'm just focusing on this lower section. The top looks okay, but the bottom looks like there's a little, little too much. Yeah, no, I like the, I like the salty bitch tumblers. I think they're so funny. <laughs> uh, like, I, I like them but have not made one yet. So that might be what this cup becomes. Um, and my thought was, and let me know what you guys think, because I don't want it to just be plain. I want to add a little dimension down here. So I was thinking of adding Mother of Pearl Chunky just kind of a little bit down here. I don't know how that's gonna look. So I can't, uh, I don't know. It's just a thought. Um, that may or may not happen, uh, we'll find out because I'm indecisive. Your turner is way faster than mine. Mine's the five to six rotations per minute. Um, I looked at different videos when I was building my turners. I looked at different videos of the different speeds and I saw the two to three, how it was so slow and I knew that was going to drive me crazy because I'm impatient, so I got the kind of faster one. I think it works well for me. Sometimes I do wish it was slower, but eh, say la vie. Um, but yeah, so that is this one. This is the fine to fine. Um, it is not perfect, and it will never be perfect. <laughs> Mother, of Pearl, Mother of Pearl, I learned, goes good with almost every color. That is so true. Uh, the last video I did was Mother of Pearl, um, and... Or the last tutorial I did was Mother of Pearl on a multicolored base. And, uh, what am I trying to say? It just, they're stunning. My mom just visited me here in Texas recently, and she actually was like, that's my cup. I'm paying you for it. I want it <laughs> for the Mother of Pearl Chunky. Um, and I'm still working on the fine one, too. But, yeah, you guys can see there's so much glitter on my table. I never actually vacuumed it from the last one, either. You said my stepdad loves the Dallas Cowboys. I'm making him one eventually. Are you going to do glitter? Or are you going to do like paint or like micas? Or what are you thinking? 
Um, I love making men's cups, but I also don't because they're so difficult, especially since I do have glitter everywhere. It's kind of hard to get it set up. But uh, get it perfectly without glitter and everything. Uh, yeah, I did build my tur my turners. Um, I do have a single turner, a double turner, and then now I have this new turner box, which I can show you all in a second if you'd like. But uh, my husband and I just built this one, so I'm still adjusting to having these short, short sticks. Um, my turner sticks used to be like a foot long, and now they're like this long. <laughs> they're tiny. He would be upset with glitter, so I think I'll spray paint her mic because, yeah, my dad would not use a glitter tumbler either. <laughs> I made my husband a cup and I did wood grain and he loved it. All right, so there's a few of you here. Well, more than a few. There's a good few of you here though, but um, do you guys want to see another cup? Do you want me to do a separate video? What are y'all thinking? I'm gonna go grab my dump cup real quick so that way I can uh, kind of clean off my desk so I'll let you guys answer because I do have another cup to do it is the same principle it is just a white tumbler and I need to add Snow White and Treasure Island this is the medium mix so this is medium mix so do you guys want to see that let me know um, I may stop this video and start another, so that way it's not too long. Plus, I can also have them labeled properly at find a find and find a medium. So let me know. I'm going to go around and grab my dump cup and be right back. All right, I wanna see another cup. I don't care if you do separate videos. I, I kinda of wanna do separate just so that way I can have it as find a find and find a medium. Um, so I might just kinda of like stop, clean up real fast and restart. Uh, also to check my phone to see if I need to charge it. Um, you wanna see, you wanna see. All right, so good for you if you want to see, so I might do that. But uh, this is my dump cup, by the way. This is what it looks like. So it's a mix of a lot of fairy tale glitters, but just a ton of glitter. So anytime I have this kind of like mess, that's what I do. All right, so good for you if you want to see. So, but I hope this video helped. Um, there's not really like a set technique. You'll be you'll be watching for it. Um, there's not really a set technique or anything when it comes to ombre. It's just kind of finding what works for you. Um, and I know that's not what everyone came here for, and I'm sorry. Um, I showed you guys what works for me personally. Um, but like I said, it is it's different for everybody. And right now I'm just kind of cleaning up because it's kind of driving me crazy. Had all week to clean up from the last tutorial <laughs> and I didn't do anything. Um, but yeah, so, all right, so a couple of you wanna see it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. My husband's working night shift, so we're gonna just, we're just gonna send it. I'm gonna go let the dog out, uh, make sure he's good, and then I'll be right back. So probably uh, five minutes. Max, it shouldn't take long at all. So, I'll be back, y'all. So, yeah. Bye.